And talking about undoing things, China's wolf warriors have ruined its relations with many countries. China's aggression has lost its friends. Now, China's foreign minister is trying to undo the damage. After his difficult visit to Europe, Wang Yi is on a tour to Southeast Asia. This is a diplomatic mission. The United States has been trying to reach out to these countries, and China wants to stop them from becoming America's allies. But the Chinese foreign minister faces a hostile crowd on this tour. This report tells you why. Wang Yi is a man on a mission. Beijing has dispatched its foreign minister on a five-nation tour to Southeast Asia as the United States tries to firm up an alliance with China's rivals in the neighborhood. Wang Yi is visiting Cambodia, Malaysia, Singapore, Laos and Thailand. Out of this list, four countries recently signed up to join a new partnership led by the United States. Thailand, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos and Vietnam are now members of the new U.S.-Mekong partnership an alliance designed to keep China in check. With his visit, Wang Yi is trying to keep some neighbors within China's fold. But it won't be easy. Southeast Asian countries haven't been fans of China, especially those countries that stake a claim to the South China Sea. A region where the Chinese Navy has stepped up its aggressive activities. Wang Yi's first challenge is to contain the fallout of China's military actions so the Chinese foreign minister is turning up the charm offensive in Thailand he threw caution to the wind Wang Yi removed his mask for his photo op with the Thai foreign minister in Cambodia he greeted the prime minister with a smile and a wave the flashes of the camera haven't distracted Wang Yi. In Malaysia, he took aim at the Quad, the alliance between India, Australia, Japan and the United States. The Chinese foreign minister said America wants to maintain its hegemony through the Quad. The so-called Indo-Pacific strategy proposed by the U.S. in essence, it is built on the Quad mechanism involving the U.S., Japan, India and Australia and aims to build a new NATO in the so-called Indo-Pacific. The strategy trumpets the old-fashioned Cold War mentality, precedes the confrontation among different groups and blocs and geopolitical competition and maintains the predominance and hegemony system of the U.S. With those words, Wang Yi tried to distract the world from China's own activities. Reports say China conducted fresh naval exercises in Bohai Sea. As Xi Jinping inspected the Chinese Navy on Tuesday, the Chinese president was in Guangdong province. A move that experts believe sent a signal to the Chinese forces to prepare for any potential military conflict. With his visit to Southeast Asia, Wang Yi wants the world to forget about China's expansionist drive. But with each military drill, China finds its list of friends in Southeast Asia shrinking fast. Bureau Report, We On, World Is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. Rion, world is one.